What's going on today, you guys? Today we're gonna talk a little bit about what it means to have honesty in your music and why you might want it there. Let's get right into it. So guys, since I was really young, I've heard many of the greatest jazz musicians of our time talking about their pursuit of honesty in music and trying to have honesty in their music whenever they play. And since I've been really young, I've had trouble figuring out what honesty in playing actually is. So this could mean many, many different things. This could mean honesty towards the tradition of the music. This could mean honesty towards you as a person playing the music. This could mean honesty towards your faults as a player, and this could also mean honesty towards what comes to you in the moment as an improvisational player. So these are just a very few of some of the many, many, many things that honesty could mean to you as a musician. So I think I've finally started to grasp what this means to me, and it's actually a mixture of all of these things I just talked about. So it's a culmination of all these different things coming together to be able to make an honest product of music for people that are listening to me. And this is a really, really important thing because people that are watching you when you're up on stage can see right through you if you're not honest and you're not having honest expression of the music. And this honest expression of music is what captivates people into listening to you from what I've seen so far. So after I started figuring out this own definition of honesty on my own, I started figuring out how I could pursue each of these four key elements. So the first thing I started figuring out right off the bat is learning about the history of the music and the tradition of the music. And being able to be honest about this is really key because it gives you respect in the music and it keeps you rooted in what you're actually playing. So first of all, I started reading jazz musicians autobiographies. I read Miles Davis's autobiography, I read Herbie Hancock's autobiography, and I'm currently right now reading Dexter Gordon's new autobiography. And if you're really reading great autobiographies, you're gonna be learning about this whole huge range of the music and the period of time that the music was going on and all three of these books are actually great at that you're not just learning about that one person's life with miles davis's autobiography you're learning about the start of bebop and all the different phases of his music tony williams herbie hancock all these different incredible jazz musicians lester young all these different people anyway so that was the first way i started doing it reading jazz musicians autobiographies and the second way i've done this is through listening to as much music as possible and really really listening to the music when i'm doing it having zero distractions just putting on a pair of headphones and actually listening to a full album through or just really listening to certain songs and trying to take in different elements of these songs. And in this case, I'd be trying to take in the tradition of the music by listening to certain drummers, by listening to how they phrase, to listen to their ride cymbal beat. That's how I start to pursue honesty and the tradition of the music. So second up is how I pursue being honest with myself as a person. And how I do this mostly is by just thinking a lot. I think a lot about how I am as a person. I think about how I am to other people. I think about how I am in the music and how I treat other people in the music. And also I read a lot of books for myself. And I read a lot of like self-help type of books that really help me out personally a lot. And I talked about those in my last video if you wanna go check that out. And yeah, this really, really helps the music a lot in my own experience, just being able to improve myself in order to become a better musician. So that was the second way I pursued honesty in my own life. So the third way is actually being able to pursue honesty in the moment of the music. And this involves actually practicing playing with other musicians and practicing really being in the moment with other musicians when you're playing music. So this is actually a really, really difficult thing to do to really be in the moment and play music like someone like Keith Jarrett or Jack DeJohnette or Gary Peacock or any of the other incredible, incredible improvisers there are in this music. So once again, this just means practicing improvisation and practicing doing things differently each time you play. And the best way to practice this is actually with other jazz musicians. So once again, the third way I practice honesty is by being in the moment with the music as much as I possibly can. And of course, the last one and the hardest one is being honest with my faults as a player. And this is a really tricky one to do because your ego tends to get in the way a lot. But anyways, yeah, I try to be honest with how my faults are as a player. And I try to figure out these faults in my own playing and be really honest with myself and even be honest with my audience. Like, I know I can't play certain things as well as many of the greatest drummers can. And that's a humbling experience at the end of the day. And I wanna pursue being really great at those things, but it's also great to be honest with the things that you can do for your audience's sake. And they wanna know that you can do something really well and that you can't do some things very well. 
And it's just a thing about being honest with your audience and being honest with your faults is really, really difficult. But it's something I'm still pursuing all the time and trying to be honest with my audiences. So anyways, you guys, I hope you found this video a little bit interesting today. And it's kind of my pursuit into honesty and how I can bring honesty into my music and especially with these four different categories like I was talking about. Thank you guys so much again for watching today and if you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate it if you go down below and check out some of my other videos and if you're enjoying those I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much again and I hope you have a great day.